seen this yes. put together. Because I didn't put one together on purpose, because I know if you're like me, you see something shiny, your attention kind of goes to it. I wanted on purpose to show you how this comes out of the box, assembles. Shouldn't take very long. And we're going to actually try and adjust it, do a real world thing, adjust it for Kim. The things I want you to notice are that it takes a little getting used to. But in talking to uh, Dr. Bielema and several other doctors and therapists, typically you would send somebody to get training on crutches or knee walkers anyway. So this isn't terribly different than any of those. Our experience is it takes anywhere from a few minutes to up to an hour or so for somebody to get used to using it. And part of that is just adjusting it and explaining how it's used. So um, with that, I'm just going to show you. It's very easy to assemble right out of the box. Um, and in the box, we have just an assembly illustration. It really takes no explanation. It just has that, and I can pass some of those around. On the crutch, um, it has approximate height adjustments. You all probably know better than me that 5'8 is not a leg length for a 5'8 person. You're not all the same. And so what we did is just took some averages and and then uh, and created the crutch knowing that we would have to adjust them, that a patient would have to adjust them as they got used to it or adjust compared to their particular height. So we call this a vertical stabilizer because it sounds really technical and everything. I'll show you why we, we call it that in just a minute. So I just put that in backwards. You can see how easy it is to just make adjustments. We use, we use snap buttons on purpose because everybody's used to those with crutches and they're very positively locking. Once they're in place, they won't move easily. There is a drawback to that is that we couldn't get infinite adjustment points. So it, it does limit some of our adjustment, but um, we've tried to compensate for that a little bit. So this is how you adjust it. This is We call this a knee cradle. You do that to the right height, the vertical stabilizer, you get that to the right height, and the handle is just for comfort. We don't have any adjustment um, gradations on here. It's just for the length of somebody's arm. Um, to go right and left, you basically just pinch. You've got a double stamp button under here. You pinch that and you just turn this around. And that's hard to get your fingers in, and we know it. And that's how you go from right to left. So that's the only thing you have to do to go from a right to a left. So that's it for there. And then we also notice for some folks, not everybody walks straight up and down, some walk back and forth. Early on, we noticed that some people would be on like this and the crutch is over here and their arm fits here and they lean over to get to it, which is very counterproductive. So we, we designed in some telescoping holes on, this, on the outside leg. So all you do is turn that and it makes the leg longer, which then tilts the crutch to the person. So the whole trick to somebody being able to be comfortable on this is adjusting it to their height all the way through and the tilt so that the crutch as close as you can fits them. And then it's just a matter of practice because there is a little bit of balance and holding on or anything else. 